As the universe cooled, the strong force pulled quarks together to form protons and neutrons. Within minutes, the strong force combined protons and neutrons into nuclei. After about 380,000 years, electrons began orbiting nuclei via the electromagnetic force to form atoms. We keep a running list of all atoms we know, our table of elements. The table is ordered by the number of protons each atom contains. All atoms are composed of the same stuff. The quarks and leptons created earlier in the universe and listed on our standard model. Just different quantities and arrangements. Radiation decoupled during this process and continued to expand through space. Proof of this radiation is scattered throughout the universe and known as the Cosmic Microwave Background, or CMB. Plug in an old box TV. In order for you to view a show, a powerful electromagnetic wave is transmitted by a tower to the TV's antenna. A black and white static screen shows up for channels not connected to a network. This static is the antenna receiving an array of signals from the CMB, human-made radio transmissions, the sun, black holes, and other relevant emissions. All of this can be explained using numbers relating to points on our universal reference frame from the quantum fluctuations on. Just a bunch of particles and or waves moving outward. Over the course of several billions of years, denser regions of the distributed matter became more attracted to each other through gravity. Gas clouds, stars, galaxies, and other astronomical structures began to evolve. These are all just theories though, and we only have so much proof to agree with. Our mission is to share objective information in efforts to inspire solutions that contribute to extending humanity's existence in the universe.